Right, I've got my mouthwash to freshen up and my baby wipes to clean up in case I'm sick. I've got my olive oil to lubricate my throat and somewhere in here I've got some body spray to cover the smell of pure fear because I'm going sword swallowing. I'm here at the Hackney Empire where Sunnikers of Horrors are performing and the gent that's going to teach me how to do this ridiculous feat today is a very skilled and less nervous and less chuntering Hannibal Helmerto. Here he is. Hannibal, it's very, very nice to meet you. A pleasure. Shake my hand and then I'll shake my own entire body. What are we going to start off with? A metal coat hanger. And we're going to bend that in a, the shape of a blade. But a coat hanger, as you know, is not very sharp and not very pointed. So that's perfect. Okay. And put it down to start getting. Okay. <coughs> okay, take it out, take it out. Sorry guys, you got a bit of my spit on you there. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Oh, I'm serious. I disinfect yeah. it again. Do you want to keep going a little bit more or do you want to try Can a sword? Give me a demonstration. Well, folks, I managed not to regurgitate my sugar puffs all over the place. Um, yeah, I wasn't sick, which I was really surprised about. It was actually quite a zen-like experience. It was, uh, you can't really think about whether you're going to have a fish finger butty for tea or anything like that. You have to really concentrate on what you're doing. Um, and it's bizarrely relaxing, although my bowels didn't relax, which was, uh, yeah, that was a relief. Um, I think I'm going to keep it up, but now that I've now that I've managed to get a coat hanger and a sword that far down my throat, it seems a shame just to waste that experience and uh, never do it again. So yeah, next time someone asks me whether I spit or swallow, definitely swallow. <laughs> <laughs>